relational records is a special domain within the SDTM data model that collects information related to a particular domain but does not necessarily fit directly into it. So for example, you first would need to select the data set that contains the source data that will be put into the relational records data structure. You can preview it prior to um, creating this structure by clicking on the preview button. In this case, you can see the actual first 100 observation of the data set. In this case, there's only 20. But once you've done that, you would then select the domain in which you want to put this um, those records relating to, uh, document the study that you're working on, and then select a identifying variable. Usually this is some kind of date variable or some kind of ID variable that uh, is sorted by. And then you would also select the subject ID, in this case let's say Patnam. Once you have selected those, click on OK, and this will create the data and putting it to the relational records data set. So as you can see here, um, this is just the first 100 observations. So since this is appended to the existing one, these are some of the existing prior um, values which um, this will be appended to. So our data that we selected will fall underneath this. And this data shows you the variable that you selected. For example, um, if you were to select the variable and its value. So the the variable and the value, if it's available, will be populated here. You can also preview this data by clicking on the preview button. It generates a similar report to what we've seen as the output that's generated. Now you can also generate the same request in uh, a macro form by clicking on the save code. In this case, a real rec macro is called and all the selections that you've done here are then expressed in macro form. In addition, um, you can generate a report for finding variables that are related to um, your possible uh, related records type variables. So in this case, it'll search through all the data sets and it will try to find anything that is possibly a related records variable and then generate a report for you. From that report, you can then select the variables and then generate the relational records data set from, from that, those suggestions. So that's how you would generate the relational records um, data structure from this GUI.